So we're here at Anna Bananas. Yeah, it's like a slice of my childhood. Yeah, this is one of the places you used to hang out when mm -hmm. you lived in Portland? Yeah, I went to high school in the 90s. I went to Beaverton High School, but my friends and I would always hang out in Portland. And one of the great things about being a teenager in Portland was that there were so many coffee shops where you didn't have to be 21, and you could come on a Friday or Saturday night with your friends, hang out, drink coffee. And a lot of the coffee shops that I went to back then have closed, but Anna Bananas is still around. It's like the oldest coffee house in the city of Portland. And it looks a little different, but the sign is still the same with that smiling yellow Anna Bananas logo. How long has it been since you've lived in Portland? Well, since I finished high school, really. I graduated from Beaverton in 1996, and uh, I come back to Portland all the time because my parents are still here. I sing with Pink Martini a lot, so I come back to record albums with them. So I come back at least a couple times a year, but I haven't lived here since 96. Yeah, so you have played with Pink Martini. Yeah, I Just started... like casually drop that, like, yeah, sometimes I come back to Portland to record albums with Pink Martini. <laughs> and but... actually I'm going to be doing their New Year's Eve show at the Schnitz, at the Arlington Schnitzer Concert oh. Hall, with the Oregon Symphony. Awesome. I'm sort of like a frequent guest performer with them. I don't tour full-time, but on each of the last four albums, I've done one or two songs. And I'm sure, that, of course, there's a lot of people that know that you do that, but then there's also a lot of people that think of you as, of course, host of All Things Considered, like serious, yeah, that's my day job. political, journalist, all the types of news of the day, but now you are doing your own show singing. Yeah, so this show that I've created kind of brings together some of the threads of the journalism and the performing with Pink Martini. I gathered stories of places I had been, people I had met, whether that's in Iraq or Ukraine or Turkey, and found the music that tells the story of those places. Because one of the things that I realized is that all over the world, in every era, there's always a soundtrack. People always have songs that they sing and music that they listen to. And I created this show called Homeward, and the place I most wanted to bring it was here in Portland. The fact that the city council called November 15th, <laughs> Ari Shapiro Day, it just yeah. blows my mind. Ari Shapiro Day, yeah. officially. Yeah, I'll be wearing a tiara and carrying a scepter all day long. <laughs> yes, and then forever day after that. I don't know if this means that. I get a float in the Rose Parade, but I'm <gasps> hopeful, should. maybe, I Can don't know. Can you be a princess? Like <laughs> My whole life, I've tried. <laughs> Since we are in Portland and everyone yeah. loves weird things in Portland, is there a story you remember, the, the weirdest one that you've ever reported? Well, so I was just in Indonesia for two weeks. This is just fresh in my mind. And I was doing a bunch of stories about serious subjects. But in the middle of one of these reporting trips, my producer and photographer and I stumbled on a pigeon racing ground. My producer and the photographer got really, really invested in these pigeon racers. And we ended up spending like hours there and going back again and again to see like the practice races and the actual competition and ended up producing this really kind of delightful audio postcard from there. So you haven't lived in Portland for a little while. Yeah. Do you still feel Portland though? I feel so Portland. It's it's funny because I, I you know I don't have the piercings or the tattoos. I don't ride a fixie bicycle but I feel Portland on the inside. I feel like those people are my tribe, even though I don't have the external signifiers of tribal membership. But I do hear that you actually do ride your bike to work every day. Oh yeah, I do ride my bike to work every day. I've never owned a car in my wow. entire life. So I'm, I mean, you are Portland. by DC standards, I'm very, very Portland. Yeah. By Portland standards, people would be like, come on, step it up. When you come back to Portland, do you feel like it's changed a lot? So much. I mean, I remember when I grew up here, the Pearl District was breweries and not like chic craft brew pubs, but like places that smelled like yeast and stale beer all the time. But it's changing in ways that still make me love the city. And it's not the same city that I grew up in, but it's still my favorite city in, in America. Is it? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I travel all over, so I've been yeah. to a lot of cities. But he still loves Portland. If you want to see Ari's show, Homeward, it's playing tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday night at the World Trade Center Theater.